My name's Scott and in this video I'm going to give you a full tour and review of the room that I recently stayed in at the brand new Fountain Blue Las Vegas. This is the tallest hotel in Las Vegas and our room was on the 56th floor. Wait until you see the views, they're incredible. We were taken by surprise with this breathtaking view as we exited the elevator on our floor. The stratosphere's tower is front and center with the Vegas Range Mountains behind. But our room was on the other side looking south. We'd booked a Gold King Strip Best View room. And by the way, I paid for this trip in full myself. Nothing was comped and I didn't get any special treatment. Initial impressions of the room are great. It's big, it's got two different seating areas and everything feels incredibly premium. It's a beautiful room. We're on the 56th floor, so I think it's time to open those drapes and see what's on the other side. And you can do that from one of these multiple panels which are available uh, throughout the room, including next to the bed. Seeing the view from up here, any worries about wasting our money upgrading to the best view category immediately disappeared. The view is spectacular and totally worth it. In terms of location, Fountain Blue is at the north end of the strip. And as you might have noticed when we looked out the window there, um, you could see the West Hall of the Convention Center right next door. So it's going to be very popular with anyone going to conferences. And you could also see the Encore uh, immediately to the south, about half a mile away. Let's take a look at some of the storage available in the room. And you'll see those uh, six drawers. We're going to take a look in one of those. They're really big. Uh, they go back far and they're also deep as well. As well as the drawers, there's also a large uh, closet here. You'll find a steamer available to freshen up your clothes, um, a couple of pairs of slippers, uh, one dressing gown hanging here and the other dressing gown is hanging in the bathroom. The safe is actually really large. It's not deep, but it's very tall, so you could stand a laptop up in it. I love the look and feel of the room. It's very elegant and leans into the mid-century vibe of the original Miami Fountain Blue. Yet it still has the modern technology, including another control panel, as well as multiple outlets and both USB-A and USB-C ports too. There is a well-stocked minibar, which as you might expect on the strip is quite expensive. A bottle of water here is $6, but since I live locally, I brought my own from home. The most expensive item is the Moet Imperial Brut Rosé at $95 for this tiny little bottle. To find the prices, check this interesting ornament which is covered with QR codes for menus, prices and other useful info. I'm way too cheap to have anything here, but if you want to indulge in the mid-century Rat Pack vibe in your bedroom, you can do that. I just love the ice bucket and the bow tie shaped brass tray. No expense has been spared here. You can fill that ice bucket from one of two ice machines available on each floor. I really like that it's in a separate room, so it's not going to keep anyone awake at night. The bathroom is beautiful with accents of gold, blue, silver and white. The marble countertop with the back and front lit mirror behind really does look stunning. A very large shower has both ceiling and wall mounted spray heads to choose from. I love the premium toiletries and these beautiful blue bottles shaped like the columns in the casino below. I appreciate little details like that. It makes a difference. Over there on the right, that's where the toilet is and there is a door to close that off. Overall, I love this bathroom, though I didn't appreciate when I booked that our room type, the Gold King, only comes with the shower. Most other room types have both a bath and a shower. One final touch I appreciated, you can dim the lights however you want and there's also a nightlight mode as well, which is perfect for one of those late night trips to the bathroom. Well, the sun is set and the view is getting even better. The sphere is constantly changing. And over on the right, that's the strip. So you see Encore, Treasure Island, and on the right, Resorts World. We're also close to the flight path for the airport. So we were mesmerized with these incredible views of planes departing. Looking down, we can see the beautiful looking pool deck, which is open in the spring and summer. But it's the sphere that really steals the show. It's really fun just to sit and watch and see what's going on over there. Well, as we went to bed, I deliberately left the drapes open because I wanted to catch the desert sunrise in the morning. And I'm glad I did because it was an incredible sunrise. The bed was really comfortable and we had a great night's sleep. We both loved our overnight stay here and we'll definitely come back. And next time we'll probably try Mountain View Room for a change. 
I have two more Fountain Blue videos, a full tour of the resort itself, and also another looking at the difference between the blue and gold room types. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. It helps the channel grow. And if you want more travel videos like this, please subscribe. My name's Scott, and thank you for watching.